Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Doc Doc Diecast. And in this video, I'm still continuing the Initial D series. So for this one, it's not auto art, but it's by Kyosho. And this is a very special model. Since this one is the one that I have been looking forward to getting to in a long time. Like I just recently got this model, um, I'd say a month ago. And this is a very sought after model that I am looking forward to. It is the FD RX-7, oh sorry, FC RX-7 uh, with the figure. And showing you around the box here. And again, like uh, right here, it shows that Kodansha certified sticker there. Let's get to opening this box. Opens up real nicely. You got the figure right there. Unfortunately, the arm is off, but easily glued on there. Not a big deal. I can fix that at a later date. I actually have a close-up of that model here. It's a quite sharp looking. The paint is very well done. And as you can see, like there's a part of the arm that unfortunately has come off. I uh, haven't opened this model yet, so that's unfortunate. But again, not a big issue. I could always get that fixed. Let's see if I can pop this guy out. Yeah, so it's just, so you can see there's like a little indentation there where it sits in. Same in that arm and it just goes just like that. Not a big deal. I can fix that another day. And then for the model itself, it comes in this, uh, reminds me of like a automobile containers where it's like this really raw-ish styrofoam same with the plastic bag and whatnot carefully take this model out and there you have it so this model is resin meaning there are no opening parts as well so it's basically just, yeah, like what you see is what you get. Unfortunately, we don't get any opening parts, so. But hey, I'm not complaining. It's very nice. I am very happy with this gorgeous model. And let's put it on that rotating display and see all the features. Alrighty. So now we got it on the display. We have a really nice, really white body it's uh it's very white i'm not sure what to tell you um it does have some indentation of where the gas tank is the red sun's uh decal right there it seems a little bit faded for me let's see the other side yeah it like there's like a fade going on here like like i understand there's a fade right here in the middle but i feel like it needs to be darker on the edges there just in my opinion. Uh, we do have some more decals right here, but like underneath the side mirrors. And speaking of side mirrors, aftermarket side mirrors, very uh, aerodynamic for the model. This seems a little bit out of place. Like you can see that gap there. I don't know. Yeah, it's just stuck in there. So compared to this other side, it's more streamlined barely uh any gaps there but you can see like a tiny gap right here and right on top and yeah like just this one gap right there not a big deal just me nitpicking whatnot uh, i also see some 
of these lines right here. Also indentation right there, very nice. I love the wheels by the way. And as we go to the front, we have a separate piece right here for the uh, side markers, as well as these lights here. And unfortunately, again, non-opening model, so the lights don't pop up, unfortunately. That's okay. We have the nice Mazda script right there, as well as a little license plate. And we do have some vents underneath here. And we have this nice lip that comes with the model. This head's pretty much the same. And let's not forget to talk about this nice hood scoop in the middle there. Sort of like offset in the middle. We have some uh, windshield washer squirters and looks like the uh, side, sorry, the um, Windshield wiper, there you go with it. Windshield wipers are uh, separate pieces. And then going at the rear here, we do have another windshield wiper. Very, very long actually. And uh, we have some nice taillights, very nice detail. And as well as this nice uh, license plate frame. We also see a little bit of that muffler at the back there, the exhaust, and the Mazda script again. Yeah, everything seems to be very well done. Wheel detail. I like that they used one of my favorite wheels, and I believe these are a replica of the Workmeister S1 three-piece wheel. And you can even see that there is a slot there for the um, uh, valve stem right on the top left side. And you can also see the lug nuts are all in there separately. Like it's actually kind of like separate pieces almost looking. Okay. Um, there is a red caliper and just a plain rotor. We also have some treaded tires, which is nice. And the rears look very similar. Just a little bit of a different shape for the caliper. And again, all those details, all those uh, little bolts. Very, very nice detail. So for underneath the model, we do see that it is 115 out of 700 made. It's a very hard to find model. And if you can get one right now, like say on eBay or something like that, it's uh, it's pretty expensive. And for a resin model, I think it's too much for the money, but I love Initial D. So sometimes you gotta bite the bullet, but yeah, hopefully you can wait for a good price if you're really looking forward to something like this. Alrighty, now for interior detail, I'll try my best to show you guys what I can show you from the angles of the, of the camera. It's a little bit hard since this is, a, again, a non-opening model. I think we're going to start from the back. Alright, so there's nothing much to see back here looks like a two plus two car so you get these full back seats so it really can't fit anything else like you can literally tell how uncomfortable they would look from that divot there like it's like a like a pit hole for your butt so i don't know if that's gonna be comfortable i like the blue seats Looks like aftermarket seats for the FC. We got a detailed interior. Gauge cluster is all in yellow. We also see that nice steering wheel 
A little bit of a detail in the center console here. Got the shifter there. Let's see if we can see more on the other side. Yeah, it looks like there's a radio. Oh man, I just can't focus. It's just focusing all on, on this dust. I'm just gonna give it a quick wipe down. So unfortunately, it seems like there's dust particles on the inside. There you go. So we got the vents, we got the radio, we got all, we got all different kinds of stuff right there. Like you can see in the middle right there is the HVAC controls as well. Very nice. I can't see the uh, seat belts, like the harnesses or anything at all. It's hard to see any of that in, in this angle, unfortunately, and I physically can't see any, unfortunately. Yeah, it would be nice if they added uh, some seat belts like, just right around here. And there's no sign of a harness either at the back, so that's unfortunate. But overall, if you're looking for an affordable RX-7 FC driven by Ryosuke Takahashi, I'd say this is the one to go. I know Ignition Models also made one recently, but again, you're paying Ignition Model money. That's going to be super expensive. So yeah, for me, I'm very happy with this model and thank you for watching guys. I will see you guys in the next video. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Have a good one.